In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to tie the egg loop knot. So if you've ever fished with fish eggs before, you probably know it's not always the easiest keeping them on the hook. So that's when this here comes into play. And you can use it for fish eggs, but you can also use it for pretty much anything else. So basically you have your hook here and you're going to have your big this loop here that you can put in your line. And pretty much anything can be put in here. So it could be eggs. All you got to do is put the eggs here and cinch it down. And it's going to stay on the hook a lot better, but you could pretty much put anything like if you're doing catfish and you could put, you know, something uh, in there as well, or pretty much whatever else you're doing. It's really useful. It's pretty simple to understand and learn how to do. And that's definitely why you want to know how to tie it. All right. So before we do get started, I just want to mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably going to be at like 1000 subscribers and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So. Here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. We have to have like a backpack, you know, a fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first subscribe to the channel like this video and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so the two things you're going to need is you're going to need your leader and you're also gonna need your hook. So your leader, you're gonna to need to figure out how much of a leader you want. It can be whatever you want. It's not really important, but depending on what type of fishing you're doing, get your leader and also get your hook. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hook and you're gonna grab one end of the leader. So I'm just gonna have it right here, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your line here through your hook and you're just gonna kind of place it along the the um, the, the shaft of, of the hook there and you're just gonna kind of pinch it with your, with your hand just like that. Then you're gonna grab this part of the line here and we're gonna take it and bend it over and back around and then we're gonna wrap it around both the line and the shaft of the hook, we're gonna wrap it down 10 times. So all you gotta do is take this, bend it back, and start wrapping it around 10 times like that, going down this way. So I'm using thicker, thicker rope here, so I can only do it about five times, but you should go 10 times down and you're gonna have it just so it looks like that. So you're gonna hold this with your hand, uh, very, very simple, and you should have some nicely tight wraps going down the hook. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold the line here. So make sure you have tension because if you don't have tension, these lines are going to come unraveled. So keep that somewhat tight and you're gonna take the tag end of the other side, so right here, and we're gonna go down through the loop here. So in the very first step, we came up through. In this step, we're gonna go the opposite way. So we're gonna go back down. So you just gotta put it, put it through a little bit so it kinda of looks, you know, something like that. All right, so we're then, we're still keeping tension on the line here. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is this line that just went down, down through the hole, you're gonna lay it over top of these ropes, these, these loops here, and also over top of the, of the shaft of the hook just like that, okay, just like that. And we're gonna take this line that we've been holding and we're gonna wrap it around all three lines. So it's gonna go around the hook, around this first original line, but and we're also gonna go around this third line here as well. So you just gotta take this bottom loop right here and we're gonna wrap it five more times around all three. All right, so it should look something like that. Now, all you want to do is you want to make sure this is you know kept nice and tight. But all you have to do now is take your tag end here, and you have to start pulling, like slowly pulling, and then all this excess line here is going to be pulled through the loop. So we just got to keep pulling it, just like that. Pull it all the way through. All right, and then once you pull it through, you should have something that looks like that. So pretty much all of these wraps should be you know fairly tight. If anything is like you know, if anything's like loose like, like that, 
you'll probably want to either retie it or try to like bunch it up and cinch it down again but just make sure everything's make sure everything lines up properly make sure everything is nice and tight so give this a good yank and then you should have something that looks somewhat like that and then all you have to do is if you have a tag in there just simply clip the tag end but pretty much you'll take your tag end of your line here and attach this to your main line or swivel or whatever you're using and then all you got to do is take it right here and then push it up put your bait in the loop and then cinch it down just like that and there is the simple egg loop knot so if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.